Ladies and gentlemen, we are set to go with our next bout of the evening. Three rounds scheduled. Your referee, Joel Becker. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. She wears silver and black with green trim. She weighed in at 125 pounds. Her record thus far perfect. Three fights, three victories. Representing King's Thai Boxing, fighting out of Brooklyn, New York, Carmen Corchado. Corchado. And her opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner. She wears black and silver. She weighed in at 122.8 pounds. Her record, also a perfect one. Two fights, two victories. Representing Estevez Muay Thai, fighting out of Boston, Massachusetts. Ladies and gentlemen, Jennifer O'Leary. O'Leary. Jennifer. All right, lady. Come on in. All right, ladies, we're going on to modify uh, Muay Thai rules. Fight clean, fight hard, fight fair. Protect self at all times. Listen to my instruction at all times. Touch gloves now. Let's go to work. Two undefeated amateur fighters about to lock up in a three-round battle on Friday Night Fights brought to you by Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino. Ariel Agami ringside at the Broad Street Ballroom with Phoenix Carnavalli, the host of the In Fighting Shape podcast. And we are about to see the undefeated Jen O'Leary also known as Jenzilla, take on the also undefeated Carmen Corchado. Scheduled for three. Modified rules in effect. Corchado comes out with a huge right hand right away. Corchado, very aggressive fighter. Big Ooh. left hand, lands up top for Corchado. And O'Leary staggered just a bit in the early going here. Leary's still fighting back, trying to use her kicks, which is very smart when somebody is coming at you with heavy punches. Use your longer range weapons, which is your kicks. Try to lean back, get your head out of the way from the punches using your kicks, and attack the legs. When you attack the legs, you can slow your opponent's down, opponent down because it's harder to punch when your legs hurt. O'Leary did a nice job weathering the early storm now. She's trying to lock up Corchado. In the clinch, Joel Becker will break up the two ladies. Yeah, we've seen Corchado uh, just very active. You know, she comes out of a training camp and goes right back into another one. She can, has consecutively fought on the Friday Night Fights cards. Very aggressive fighter, very game fighter, very tough girl, and she improves every time we see her. Corchado beat Constance Chong back on November 11th right here at the Broad Street Ballroom to run her record to 3-0. Her brother Angel is a professional mixed martial arts fighter. And Carmen also aims to go pro. She continues to put in her work in the amateur ranks here tonight. Straight right hand lands for Corchado. Oh, Combination beautiful. Corchado. Another Straight right hand. down the middle with a beautiful right hand. Nice teep. Oh, Jen. big body shot. O'Leary, a couple of nice kicks there to back Corchado up. But Carmen keeps on coming. O'Leary returning those body shots of her own. Outside leg kick by Corchado as there's the 10 second mark of round one. Straight left by Corchado. Trains out of King's Tie Boxing under Aaron the Ghost Fisher, who Carmen refers to as the baddest coach on the planet. <laughs> and Corchado looking like one of the baddest fighters around from what we've seen thus far in her young amateur career. Yeah, she's really disciplined. She listens to her coach well. She improves uh, every time. I really enjoy seeing her. I, I, I think she's going to have a bright future and a bright career. But I have to say, you know, her opponent's not doing too bad either. O'Leary, you know, looking good, even though she's taken some damage there. You can see she's still very focused, attentive, listening to Estevez. He's also an excellent coach. Uh, they have a, more of a, like a Dutch tie, uh, style as well, uh, training under Aziz. Aziz has really taught his fight as well at Satan. So... They, they like to use their movements. They use their teeps really well. I expect O'Leary to come out using that teep to try to back Corchado up a little bit as we go into the second round. Jen O'Leary wearing the all black with silver trim on the trunks. Corchado wearing the black and white trunks with green lettering. Big left hand. Oh, nice. We'll send O'Leary flailing back in the early going of round two. A slip called by Joel Becker. A nice outside leg kick by Corchado and another one. 
Yeah, you can see she's trying to use her teeth a little bit more in this round. Corchado really having very good hand speed, though. Straight right hand is well stuck in by Carmen. Oh, another hook that lands. Doubled up on it, too. What Corchado do does well is that she also likes to throw a straight right to the body. And it's landing clean, as well as the left hook. job by O'Leary once again to stem the tide and kind of get this fight back towards the center of the ring. Nice teep away by Jen O'Leary, a.k.a. Jen Zilla. Boston native now fighting out of Stanford. Can I get an Estevez Muay Thai? Oh, snaps her head back with the right hand. O'Leary comes back, though, with a beautiful right kick. Porchado describes herself as calculated yet aggressive, and we've seen her do a little bit of everything here oh. in the first couple of rounds. Another big left hand. Oh, O'Leary needs to tuck her chin a little bit more. You know, she needs to just kind of just pull her head down just a little bit more, keep her hands up a little bit higher. Because you can see she's just super focused. She's taking the shot. She's disciplined, but she's, she's taking too many because of her head positioning. Also, I mean, Corchado's speed. This fight taking place in the 125 pound division. These girls are featherweights. Somebody's O has got to go tonight. O'Leary at 2 0, Corchado at 3 0. Final 10 seconds of round two. Corchado's also doing a very good job of cutting the ring off without chasing. You can see she's like always just a little, little bit of a step so she could line up her right hand. Corchado pumped up as she heads back towards the red corner and her coach, Aaron Fisher. Good action in the first two rounds of this fight. Definitely. So Corchado trying to stay perfect. Again, she is 3-0 in her young amateur career. 28 years of age. Stands at 5'5". Five five. Gives her a height advantage over Jennifer O'Leary, who's 5'3". And 27 years of age as Omar Estevez gives his fighter the instructions for the third and final round. And O'Leary, again, great hard shown thus far. He's taking some clean shots from Corchado, but she keeps on coming. It's just a minor adjustment she needs to make. She needs to tuck her chin a little bit more. She needs to keep her hands up a little bit higher. Ladies and gentlemen, this she is can't third, wait because Corchado, uh, Cor Corchado's aggressive. She doesn't, uh, she doesn't give you a second. She will not give you a second. She's fast and she tries to be first. Joel Becker signals for the bell, and here we go. O'Leary opens up with the teep and an yeah. outside kick to the body. O'Leary trying to use her kicks a little bit more to stay away from those punches, but beautiful grab and sweep. Cole Becker issuing a warning. This are, these are modified rules these girls are fighting under. Well, he just you can really only throw one shot once you grab the leg. That's it. You got it one, and then you have to let go. Combination up top by Corchado. O'Leary trying oh. to fight her off with the teeth, but Corchado's on top of her. Great hand speed. She's throwing punches and bunches. Big inside leg kick. You can see the, the redness swelling on O'Leary's leg on her left leg, on the inside of her left leg. Oh, beautiful knee by Corchado there. Corchado looking for the switching knees there. She'll dump Jen onto the canvas. She's added a lot of things to her arsenal since we first saw her. You know, she's doing a lot better in the clinch. She, she's timing her opponent a lot better than we've seen her do. She's throwing her opponents off balance. She's added the sweeps. We haven't seen her do those in previous fights before she's evolving. Getting better every time we see her as Carmen Corchado tries the uppercut and finishes with a left hand over the top. See, O'Leary's a good fighter, and she's got good kicks, but... Corchado is just like a, a just a couple of seconds ahead. Final 30 seconds of this fight. Two excellent amateurs going head to head, and Jen O'Leary and Carmen Corchado. One-two combination, and another by Corchado. Final 10 seconds here. Can Carmen close the show? O'Leary's got to get out of that corner. She's got to bring herself back to the center of the ring and try to keep her at bay. O'Leary throws a couple of teeps as time runs out in round number three. 
Impressive performance by both fighters going the distance. Corchado raising her hands in what she expects will be her fourth victory. We'll find out in a moment. Aaron the Ghost Fisher, the head of King's Tie Boxing in Midtown Manhattan. There's Omar Estevez, great trainer in his own right. Yeah. With his fighter, Jen O'Leary. Jenzilla, as she's known. And one of my favorite parts of these types of events, you get the sportsmanship. These fighters have no ego, or they check them at the door at least. They really do, and be because the only way to get better is to fight good people. I mean, we're going to see that in the main event tonight because those guys are fantastic. And, you know, it, and again, it's about... Can I challenge myself? Can I get better each and every time I come in? What do I need to learn? What do I need to work on? That's why you practice martial arts, to evolve as a person and as an as a athlete. The judges have handed in their decisions to, to David Diamante. Let's hear from the man himself. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judges B and C both scored this about 30 to 27. Judge A scored about 29 to 28. All three for your winner by unanimous decision from Brooklyn, New York, Carmen Corchado. And every time she wins, she's still so appreciative. She's still so excited and emotional. Um, I get a little choked up when I watch her because you know, I really just like to see this young athlete evolve and you know how appreciative she is of her coach and the art and I want this girl to have a bright future I really do. Corchado all smiles in the ring after her fourth amateur win she remains perfect at 4-0 Jen O'Leary falls to 2-1 this is Friday Night Fights brought to you by Mohegan Sun.